Hello and welcome, my name is Itachi and today we're gonna go look at the patch that comes today or the patch notes, uh, the information for next season and what's, what information we get. So we're gonna just head in, read about it and uh, it's gonna come uh, the 23rd February. So it's the uh, Eternal, so it's uh, kind of like Chinese team again. Uh, back to it, so we're gonna check here. So nice, nice outfits like this. Uh, looks like it's gonna be a lot of updates uh, and uh, uh, in visual. So journey into legend. I'm gonna do like this, so you can read as well. Uh, it's better for for everybody like this. So journey into legend or uh, in. Conqueror's Blade Eternal, launching as a free update on February 23rd. Recruit units and inspire by ancient China and extraordinary heroes as you take a new social campaign. campaign. Prepare and, uh, to become Eternal by pre-ordering the Battle Pass in-game, which is set of bonus rewards and available to claim to straight away. So we're gonna check this. Uh then. So, if we go in back a little bit here, and uh, we're gonna watch, uh, we can do... Uh, here we see this. Uh, uh, this is gonna probably be the new artillery that's gonna come, so... And uh, we can go back a little bit, uh, see... This class is gonna be the tier 3 units that are gonna come. Uh, I didn't see like it, it's obviously gonna be some kind of uh, tempering with Modaus and as we had it in the events we had like you wanted us to use the monks the 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 grandpas and the Modaus for uh, like getting bonus so we're getting used with those units uh, probably gonna be some Chinese uh, attires also coming back uh, see a little bit of the may, this might be a horse attire that's coming uh, here I think this will this will be the tier 5 cab that's gonna come it's uh, looks looks pretty sus for that like uh, finally we get a glaive uh, tier 5 the unit here's the probably the monk or ah uh, uh, this is money craft tier tier it's no uh, uh, video show of uh, the tier four. That's it. Like so. Uh, if you keep going here, we can have new mode escalation siege. Prove your tactical progress uh, escalation to uh, this brand new siege mode. Allow you to replace your units at any time through a match, giving you more strategic choice and contribute to your team and the outcome of battle. Escalation will launch the 
uh, same t time as the season cup. So we could read more about it here. Okay, so uh, this battle offer per perfective land both matchmaking and territory wars and their experience and means we have anybody blah 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 uh, we receive plenty of feedback in current maps release news new use uh, design advanced modes keep experience fresh uh, seas battle have been with us for years uh, and have been to the test yeah here the core siege battle stample siege always be so uh, if we you can read this but I'm gonna uh, go through a little bit faster so we're gonna go to the like high high team requirement so it's been is like little match strategy see so how can we improve your variety uh, escalation sheets in escalation siege uh, in uh, escalation, you can replace your units at any time through a match within these uh, new rule sets. The strategy choice uh, of which units you, you to use will be an integral part of the battle itself. This will be give you more means which to counter your foe on fly for more intense battle. Escalation units rule sets. You only need to choose one, uh, one start unit to pre the deployment menu. So you pick one unit, if I understand this correct, one unit and nothing else. Uh, whenever you draft units in battle, you can choose among all your units unlocked units. So I will have uh, like, okay, I need Liaos or I need Modaos or uh, we need more Pikes for this battle. I can pick that. And it says leadership. Each unit uh, you draft costs leadership. So you will have a set leadership that you're gonna pay. You, you can always reselect your own, the one you already had. Drafting units you previously used it that much uh, uh, doesn't, doesn't require any leadership. Note you'll draft the number of troops left alive in the unit. Uh, uh, enough troops must remain within units for you to draft them again. So yeah, that is like if you die and you have like three units left of those, you can't pick them again. Uh, leadership isn't affected by seasonal restriction. So it will be not be any bonus or any drawbacks about the like seasonal uh, uh, leadership. But it might be the seasonal uh, seal. So in the beginning we will only have tier three units to play with. So. Uh, Escalation first map pool, Harbor City, Correct Castle, Sun City, White Elk Fork, Hellion Fjord, and Ringo Police. I think that is the most, the, the least uh, maps having bugs and stuff. The future escalation is only our first step towards greater heights. We will continue to improve the uh, rules for the siege battle. I hopefully, change this one before the battle altered how much such spells are played. And leads to, to more fun, everyone. We'll st still continue to work the Staple C Siege mode 2. So, yeah. Uh, if I understand this correct, so uh, this will be more intense. Like, it will be prove like when you you can s change uh, during the, the, the time what units you're gonna pick and uh, what it's needed so it will be more strategic and more thinking about what units you're gonna pick and nobody can complain oh no not those uh, vassal blongbow men or so because you, you only want to see the first unit you pick and it could be a good one so if you go back uh, scroll down we have, uh, I think this is uh, like the the first attire that's gonna come. Looks really cool. Mm. New units draft new social units inspired by the heroes of ancient China. Vunxing uh, pikemen. Bear with me. I will slaughter names. That's my th like. Um, English is not not my first language. I will slaughter names. I will say it's wrong. It's okay. And you but you still don't understand what I'm saying. 
Uh, Wuxing Pikeman, three stars. Unleash elemental fury on, upon your opponents with this fear, fear uh, units flaming spears. Uh, <coughs> this is the one we saw in the video, so it will be exploding. So they might be a counter for the camels also. Uh, Crescent Monks, uh, four stars. These traveling tattooed men of fate experience handled it a shovel like weapon, wielding uh, them to bring down enemies who threaten their way of life. It doesn't explain much what they do, but they have a shovel. Gonna dig. <coughs> no, but I think it's uh, they're gonna have a, a moon staff. Because there's a crescent monk, uh, so half moon or something like that. Normally it's a crescent like that. Uh, or it could be this kind of uh, moon also. Uh, Yandu Cavalry. Yandu Cavalry. Uh, five stars. Let loose with the devastating attack from atop mighty steeds and turn the tide of battle with this cavalry brigade. So, what we can do is. Uh, and what do we get? Uh, not much info. Uh, crescent monks. Google is your best friend. So it will be, yeah, this kind of stuff. And then we have Yandu Calvary. Uh, this is how they're gonna look, or say maybe. Uh, yeah, it's the glaives we saw in the video, so probably. Then we have that sorted out. Uh, new enchantment system Artifacts Scissors Forge. Starting from a new season, equipment uh, reforging is changing. Use the artificial stone to refine your equipment and artificial forge and get the gear with the better attribute. So, does that mean like... I don't know, but this feels like finally we can go and can get our full leadership gear and or, or full armor gear. So, uh, we can... Uh, change the attributes to our likings well that is something i'm gonna check when when we're getting access to to the to the server or getting more info by time so so we can uh, look a look little bit deeper but it looks like some something like that uh, new artillery divine crow that's the, probably that flying stuff it's like remind me about like warhammer total war when or uh, like dark omen where you can like shooting a goblin and can uh, like like con he control control where to land a little bit uh, hit the battlefield with a brand new epic artillery inspired by the holung jing an ancient chinese guide to fire weapons uh, Divine Crone uh, defire strength is sure turn the tide of battle with extensive range and blast radius. So, will this be like uh, lo uh, even longer than mor uh, mortar? And like you can shoot from uh, one side to the other side and hit or something. So, pre order the battle pass. Uh, the pre order uh, pass start airing exclusive content and with when Congress played Eternal is launches. Get following a pre-order battle pass in the game for 23. Eternal battle pass active from 23. Uh, two great scrolls. Da, 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 da. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and then we have a new seasonal campaign starting expedition in Borderland or Liang Yun. Uh, in competitive twice uh, weekly territory war with your house uh, achieve victory pre or the final battle in Dai Sheng. So that will be a Dai Sheng again at the end of the season. More information on Conquer Play Eternal uh, and launch event will be coming soon. And you can stay informed by subscribing to the official newsletter and by following the Conquer Play Twitch. Blah blah. blah. Uh, the question is 
we're gonna choose between these two regions but uh, this season it was uh, Andalu, Borderland and Liangjung uh, now it's question will it be Borderland, Liangjung and Longting or will it be uh, Mao Yang or will it be uh, Austria or Ungeria or will it be Andalu that's like what will be the third region or will it be only be these two regions and will be more closer fight that's that's the question so uh, I mean so this probably will be the this uh, will be the level 100 attire looks very similar to uh, our already existing tire so by uh, by that uh, I will be informing you updating uh, when there comes a new patch like this I will inform you and update you so thank you for watching and don't forget uh, get to turn in again and uh, subscribe and hit the like and comment and what do you think will come this season